my name is Tiami Ibrahim. I'm a visual artist from University of Port of Nigeria. Uh, basically, I'm a self-taught artist, uh, though I was trained as a marine engineer. And, uh, currently, I'm a professional artist for the past uh, 15 years, about. Uh, as my work review, I'm an experimental artist and, and I've developed uh, various styles and techniques in the field of art. And uh, I apply various uh, substances I, to create my work. I apply, I make use of all manner of fun objects to create a very unique artistic style. And uh, as an artist, I try to build a world that is uh, undeniably separate uh, uh, from the world we live in. And uh, what fascinates me about my artistic medium is that uh, you can pull the viewer out of the logical and uh, the common world and place them within a space that is more alive. I, um, I had texture to, uh, to my works uh, to give a feeling of age, giving the painting a uh, timeless uh, feeling. So I used a planet life as a brush stroke uh, over my painting and, and, and I think uh, it gives my painting a very unique touch. Uh, in, uh, in my work I try to articulate a story uh, through my painting to affect my audience uh, positively and thereby create a positive change. Uh, and my inspiration comes from, uh, from people, my inspiration comes from the environment and from myself and, and, and from my imagination as well. And, uh, my art is running in different style uh, depending on my subject, my mood, and my temperament. Uh, and my vision as an artist, my vision is all about uh, the real world a cultural observer and, uh, does not see uh, the history of the place, the sensation of the moment. Uh, that is that about my work. Thank you.
helpful. Well, I'm back and I'm sure you'd like to join me in celebrating that glorious work from Abraham. I mean, that not only reflects the culture of his surroundings, but kind of has this beautiful synthesis of the abstract and the figurative and glowing light that is just beautiful. And also, I think what's interesting and what strikes me is that we can see clearly the, um, how African art influenced European art in the late 19th century, early 20th century, as collectors brought over and different objets d'art from Africa. They began to influence European artists, and you'll see that in the work of Matisse, Gauguin and um, Picasso later, of course, it, it sort of partly informed his cubism. And I think in, that was what, one of the wonderful things that we could see in Abraham's work is how African art really has sort of informed in the Western world. Um, but uh, his colors are glorious. The light from them that just emit over the screen is just fantastic and as I said that sort of synergy of the abstract and the figurative is just fantastic. But we are now going to move on to the Aqueti weavers of Iberland and their work is obviously going to be quite different from that of Abraham's and um, it is particularly again it's very beautiful exquisite work and particular to that area and Aquete in Iberland, which has now become a sort of um, an emblem of female kind of empowerment, if you like, as they took on the work as a cooperative in the late 19th century, although we can date the weaving way, 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 way back to the ninth century. In fact, they found um, evidence of bark woven fabrics and um, bronze sculptures that showed people wearing the fabrics. So it really can be dated way, way back. So weaving obviously has a strong, strong part of African and Nigerian history, but moving into the 19th century, that's when the Equete female weavers took on the role as weavers, where it's sole producers, it's sole traders, and there is, you know, the, the beauty and quality of this work is And I think you're about to see that. So enjoy. Aquete, the feel of your warmth on my melanin skin pops the best out of my heart. The patterns in its royal rich texture tells the story of a great noble African heritage displaying the beauty of the great Igbo culture. As tailors cut and sews into a fine regalia befitting the glory on the body of a beautiful black woman. It wraps around her waist dancing to the rhythm of Oja, the sound of the spirits. In its beautiful, unique colors, the decorative motif stands as a muse and a wonder to the artist and his brush. Reminiscing the world of our great ancestors, whose divinity inspired the mind of the weaver to produce a noble wear, reinstating the pride of a great tradition. Akwete, the pride that holds the head up high in a majestic physique. The joy of women bragging to wear the best and finest of its designs. Admire us in art of the weaver's creative hands. The soldiers' victorious uniform, Ebe, as they fight to protect their homeland. And the supernatural guard to the one we child. Its invaluable contribution to the fashion world, now sadly forgotten and abandoned to the world of the past. Aquete, an inestimable work that allows in its uniqueness and deep cultural sensation. All hail royalty. All hail royalty. This is a Kuwaiti hand woven fabric exhibition. Enjoy.